when we get into division with decimals, long division with decimals, um, we're not changing the algorithm. It's still daddy divides, mommy multiplies, sister subtracts, brother brings down, Rufus repeats. We still follow that exact same thing. So, oh, I should probably add a decimal into this one. Um, let's add the decimal point right there. It really doesn't matter where it is because the first step, the one thing you have to remember when dividing decimals, to start anyway, is to just bring that decimal point straight up. This is why place value becomes important. Because if we're not lining up our quotient where it should be, the decimal point's really going to mess us up. But if we get used to just keeping our place values in the same spot, then we are going to just be fine. So, same process. We've brought it up, so now it's just 742 divided by 7. We're not worrying about the decimal point. It's already in the quotient, already in the answer. So 7 goes into 7 one time. 7 times 1 is 7. Sister subtracts and gets 0. Brother brings down the 4. 7 goes into 4 zero times. Here's a little problem we run into. Oh, it can't go into it, so I just skip it and move on. No, 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 no. Remember this. If brother brings down, Rufus has to repeat. We only finish when brother can't bring down anymore. But if he can, which he did, Rufus has to repeat. Therefore, daddy divides 7 into 4 zero times. 7 times 0 is 0, of course. So now, brother can bring down. Now, 7 goes into 42. 6 times, 7 times 6 is 42, sister subtracts gets 0, brother can't bring down, we are set, there's no remainder. So, 74.2, 74 and 2 tenths divided by 7 is 10 and 6 tenths, or 10.6. We don't have to worry about it much because we just brought that decimal point straight up. Now, if we were doing 7 and 42 hundredths, how would that answer change? It's still going to be 106 up top. We just bring that decimal point straight up. 7 and 42 hundredths divided by 7 equals 1 and 6 hundredths. Now I want to show you when something gets tricky and we have a remainder with a decimal problem, what do we do? Well, first off, first step is to bring that decimal point straight up. 6 goes in, then just Ignore it for, uh, for the rest of the time. 6 goes into 6 one time. 6 times 1 is 6. Sister subtracts. Brother brings down. 6 goes into 0. 0 times. Because brother brings down, Rufus has to repeat. Then we bring down 6. 6 goes into 9 one time. 6 times 1 is 6. Sister subtracts and gets a 3. Okay. We're looking at 1 and 1 hundredth with a remainder of 3 holes. That doesn't work. That doesn't make sense. How can you have an answer of 1 with a remainder of 3? It doesn't make sense. So, with decimals, and only with decimals, at the very end, if we are after the decimal, we can add a 0 to the end. Because 6.09 and 6.090 are exactly the same value. They have the same value. We just say them in a different way. So, we can add that 0 without changing how much this number actually is. And then, so we add the zero. Oh, look, brother can bring down. So brother brings that down. Six now goes into 30. Five times. Six times five is 30. Sister subtracts, gets zero. Brother can't bring down. So we're set. With decimals, we don't want remainders. So if we add one zero, and, get, and so that it equals itself out, so that there's not a remainder, fantastic. If this was still a 2, we could just add another 0. Because 6.0900 is still the exact same. We're not changing any of the value. So we add zeros into the dividend until we don't get a remainder. Because when dividing with decimals, we don't want remainders. And that is long division with decimals. Just remember to bring that decimal point straight up from where it starts.